Hi, my Santa Rita Ranch friends and neighbors. I uh, just wanted to reach out and uh, get, talk to, to you on Business Wednesday about uh, some of the stats going on in uh, the Santa Rita Ranch for sales and also some of the things that are making things happen for uh, people to be able to move in this uh, tougher interest rate market. So uh, the talk of the town is that um, the builders are offering subpar financing down to 499 um, down to three, uh, a 3.5 on a two, one buy down. They're offering five and a quarter, 30 year fixed. So, uh, you know, they're able to do this because they get uh, national forward commitment money from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, our mortgage backed securities. So uh, it's hard for us as, uh, resales to compete against that, but you definitely need to think about to, uh, uh, when you're competing on a listing price that maybe you should consider putting in some of these, uh, you're allowed to do these incentives as well. So maybe rather than lowering price, maybe offer, um, you know, a certain amount of discount points to get the mortgage rate down. Um, it, right now rates are around seven and a half percent. So, you know, you have to pay quite a few points to make that happen. Now, either the buyer or the seller can pay the points. So keep that in mind. Um, right now, we only have 13 pendings uh, in Santa Rita Ranch. Those are homes that are under contract that are not builder contracted uh, properties. So that's re relatively low amount of pending contracts for this size of a neighborhood. Um, so one of the things that we've been coaching our clients to do is to consider the fact that you may have a really low interest rate on your current house, like I do here. I have a 2.75 interest rate on my first and be really hard pressed to try to beat that. Um, you probably, if you've been in the property for more than two years, then you probably have a very low interest rate as well. And so there's some very interesting tax benefits for you, maybe not deciding to sell that house and take your equity and run and buy another house. Um, but uh, maybe think about, consider about renting the current house out. And there's some tax laws that favor that. The tax laws are that as long as you've lived in the current property two out of the last five years, that you will avoid any capital gains on the sale of your primary residence. So what that means is that you can avoid anywhere from 250 to 500,000 in capital gains by um, holding onto your property and selling it within the next three years. In other words, if you've lived in the home for two years, you have three more years to still sell the house and be able to not have to pay capital gains. Once it goes beyond the three years, then you're gonna end up in a typical investment type category where you're going to have um, a, a, a typical investment. If you did wanna sell it, you'd pay capital gains, but you can also do an exchange. And we can talk about that as far as investments are concerned. Now, another thing that we're finding is that these payments that you may have currently on your current house might be so low that you could uh, actually run a positive cash flow, which can also be used to subsidize the uh, new payment on the next house. So let's say you have a 2.75 on your current house. Uh, you've got quite a bit of equity, but you're you know able to rent it out for maybe three to $400 a month positive cash flow. And then you're going to go buy uh, one of the builder's homes, even in this neighborhood, offering 4.99%. And the payment may be higher because you may be moving up. But if you have a, a positive cash flow coming from your, your uh, previous house, it'll help offset and augment the, um, the, the payment that you have on the new house. So these are oftentimes strategies that I rarely hear uh, mentioned by realtors. A lot of times they don't actually know. I was actually an MCE class today, and a lot of people didn't know the two out of the last five year rule. So keep in mind, as long as you've lived the property in the property two out of the last five years, it may be a, a time to consider leasing as and holding on to it. Because I have to ask you a question. Do you think in the next three years that your house is going to be more than it's worth today? So, you know, I know we've been through some downs and down, down streaks in the market, but our market's going to look completely different in three years. So keep that in mind because keep an open mind because it's a great way to turn your primary residence into what could possibly be one of your best investments ever. Uh, I've sold hundreds and hundreds of homes to investors, and I always talk, talk to my clients about the best way to create an investment property is to turn your current residence into a uh, into a rental. Also, one thing too is we are uh, also uh, we're a property management company as well as leasing. So, if you want us to help you buy the next house, we can also take care of leasing your pro your uh, current property and also even property managing it. We can take care of it for you. So you can go on with life. You can put your head on the pillow. We'll collect all the rents. We'll take care of it for you. So uh, reach out to me, Ken Renner, real estate broker here in Santa Rita Ranch. Love to talk with you, talk about strategies. And don't forget, we do have our uh, small business expo coming in January. 
So I am looking for, looking for local professionals and businesses who would like to join us at the expo. We had over 40 businesses represented and over a couple hundred people through the expo last January. So that's my contribution to give back to the community, uh, to promote our local businesses and, um, and get to know our neighbors. So I appreciate you. Talk to you soon. Give me a call 512-423-5626 if you'd like to know more. Have a great day.